Bollinger had that as their main feature for a truck. Now they're not even making trucks, they're just gonna make skateboards. But I, uh, I thought that that was the coolest feature on that vehicle was the, uh, the ability to, to yeah. haul long boards. Yeah, I think that's, that's another thing with, with a ground up you know, sort of system. It's like, where, yeah. where do we need to provide features? Because those are big monuments. Those are big volumes that you yeah. need to make sure that you're yeah. thinking about from the, from the start. So one of the things, and I classify the Frunk as interior, um, one of the things that I really liked about the F-150 was that gigantic, gigantic front that yes. they've got. It's the right height. Mm -hmm. I tried right. it. Yeah, you're, you're 80 you're, pounds uh, of cement or something. Sure. So I took an 80 pound bag and I walked up and flip and it's right in there. It's right, there, it's yeah. right at the right size. Uh, can we open the... We should be able to open it. Yeah, we'll have to, same thing. We'll, we'll, we'll stage it I'll for I'll tell you, you what, let's, and... let's do this. Um, uh, let's wait, wait until we get to yeah, the we'll exterior. Yeah, we'll get to and, and, and yeah, uh, okay. that's not, that's not, no, it's not a yeah. problem. All righty, good. No, but that's important. Um, I think just, uh, as you mentioned, some of those, and I would classify some of that stuff gets into some of the truck features, you know? Yeah, yeah. Hauling, towing, you know, lifting things up, you know, yeah. getting into the vehicle, yeah. loading items into the vehicle. It's so, it's so important to think about. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I got to tell you, I, I, <laughs> I like the interior. I hope some... <laughs> I hope some of these things actually make it into production. Um, and Ryan, I'd, I'd like to thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you um, I'm going to then uh, talk with uh, Mark, I guess, right? Yeah, well, uh, I'll turn it over to Mark Trosa to go over all the exterior. Cool. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. This video is sponsored by Anchor and their Powerhouse 767 Portable Power Station. With over 2,000 watt hours of battery capacity, up to 1,000 watts of solar input, and Anchor's ultra-efficient GAN Prime technology, the Powerhouse 767 can keep you up and running longer, faster, and cleaner. This January, you can make the Powerhouse 767 your preferred device for home backup, outdoor recreation, and more, at a reduced price using the discount code MonroeLive767. Be ready for anything with Anchor. Okay, we're here with Mark. Mark is gonna tell us a little bit about the outside styling. Uh, and we only got a couple of minutes, so we're going to go really fast. <laughs> so I will tell you what I do like. I absolutely love the opera doors, and I really hope that somehow you're going to be able to make that work. So that's one of the things I like. Here's the thing I don't like. Why aren't you getting after Nishta and telling him, get rid of these damn things? <laughs> this is the worst, the worst thing on a vehicle now. Now that we've got cameras, what in the hell are they thinking in Washington? <laughs> this is like stupid. Just get rid of them. Anyhow, that, I've got, now I will now get off my... How uh, do you feel? My, yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. So why don't you give us uh, the lowdown on the styling? Because sure, I really... Sure. Yeah, it's, we're, uh, we're it's really, really a departure from yeah, absolutely. what the RAM looks and, like now. And that's what you know has been great about the new platform um, for us as designers to you know have the opportunity to create something new for the RAM brand. Um, you know, RAM has always had a really strong design DNA. Um, you know, the big rig style we kind of set that um, years ago. And with this truck, the RAM Rev, we wanted to, to set a new bar for ourselves. Starting up front, we wanted a very strong identity, and we call it the tuning fork um, lighting on it. You know, very bold, something you'll see down the road. Yeah. We have our new RAM uh, design as well with uh, LED lighting around it. So something that's very, very polarizing, you know, very strong statement. Um, and then again, you know, something that we've, that RAM has always done well is having very strong fender flares to it. You know, very distinctive. Uh, the current truck has, we call this an A-line that yeah. kind of connects through. But we really wanted to emphasize that 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 strong shape to it, that, you know, that Coke bottle um, plan view shape to it. Just it, you know, it, it has this strength to it as well. Um, moving down the side of the vehicle, uh, the, the 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 box to cab. You know, we really wanted to make this a design element to us. This element, you know, whether our customers really understand you know, why a box and a cab are separated. We wanted to make this as a design element and make it something that people will recognize in the truck. So do you have the ability uh, to have, one of the things that I liked about our Ram, uh, we had that flip up toolbox thing that was in the- uh, in The, the Ram box? Yeah. Ram box, yes. This actually, this one isn't functioning, but we have a, a Ram box as well, 50% larger than the current vehicle. Yeah. So. Uh, very excited by that. So what about um, exterior lighting and whatnot? So um, in one of our videos, we had, I don't, I don't know if you're, yeah, you're living in Bloomfield Hills. So anyways, the, um, um, we had that storm in uh, Auburn Hills and the power went off for three days and we used the lightning 
to light up yeah. and saved our ass. Yeah. Yeah. And then at night, they just took it out to some other place. I don't know where, but they took it where they had power, plugged it in overnight, boom, back the next day and we were in. So what about what about power here? What what have you got? Yeah, in we the will have that what that same ability in both um, in the the bed of the vehicle and in the front. We have uh, power outlets, two twenty up front, three one uh, one ten, and same same in the back as well. Okay, so is this going to have air suspension? I've seen it over there. So does that mean that you're also going to have compressed air like the Rivian? Uh, suspension wise, can't really talk about that too much. My more of the make the wrapper look cool. Uh, well, okay, well, the wrapper <laughs> looks pretty cool. But uh, but uh, for the guys that are working for a living, that's one of the things that they're going to like. So that's a hint, a big giant hint. Um, you should uh, you should really try and see what you can do about utilize because I. If you've got the air suspension now. Yeah, it'd be yeah. it'd be insane to not stick with it. Um, everybody else is trying to figure out how they're going to do it. So you've got uh, you've got that there. You've got a compressor. Bingo! You've got a winner. So absolutely. And uh, yep. and anybody that's in construction is going to love the yep. ability to, to absolutely so absolutely. So I I also like the uh, split door. Um, that's kind of like a Chrysler thing. Um, I love that. When we were working with Chrysler, uh, I saw the first one ever when I was in Brazil and uh, they had it on a small truck. I don't know why that didn't get brought up, but I'm telling you, that, that would, my wife would have died to get one of the, those. The multifunction tailgate, yeah, right, we call yeah, it. And this yeah. actually um, dumps, con you know, folds down conventionally, right, yeah. plus has a 50 50 split right, on yeah, it as well. Yeah. So, really, yeah, something to give our customers uh, yeah. that option, as you mentioned, to yeah. utilize it in different ways. And that way you can put in that 24. I mean, the 18 foot board, great, but yeah. then you but can get come even in 20. with the doors <laughs> yeah. that, that One, pop up. All yep. I need is, yep. is half of it, yep. yeah. Yep. So um, um, I know we're probably over and I don't want to take that guy on, he's too big. So uh, so what what else can, can, we, uh, can we talk about um, that, uh, that, that you're proud of on this? Yeah, we, we've, um, you know, we've got our, our lit RAM yeah. on, the, on the door. Um, you know, just again, you know, really accentuating, you know, the shape of the vehicle, yeah. our, our integrated uh, running yeah. board, when you pull the doors open, it, it drops down to really help the, yeah. the ease of, of ingress and egress on it. Um, uh, certainly the, the frunk is something very special. We've spent a lot of time designing that for our customer, yeah. giving them a, you know, another opportunity to have, you know, storage, uh, dry storage on the inside of it. Well, the one thing I liked about styling um, is, um, I, I would have called this a wasp waste. You've got uh, the Coke bottle thing, but I don't know, Coke might get upset. But with, uh, with the wasp waste, I, I like the idea that it starts out big, moves in and it moves back out again. It kind of gives you the, uh, the image of, of, uh, of speed or, or slick. Yeah, you know, that absolutely. Kind of thing. And I'm, I'm a big proponent of you know, hand washing vehicles. And I yeah. think, you know, when customers you touch and my the wife. vehicle, it, <laughs> yeah. there's there's something about it that, yeah. you know, you, you love it. And when you yeah. walk away from the vehicle, you want to look back at it because, yeah. you know, it's something yeah. special. Well, cool. Anyway, so again, thanks very much, Mark. My pleasure. It's great very, talking very, to you. Yeah, it was great to see your, your product. Um, thanks for watching Monroe Live. And uh, we will uh, we'll, we'll be keeping you informed with more stuff here at the uh, Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Thanks, bye. Okay, so let's quickly look at uh, the skateboard for what is potentially going to be going into that car. This is not, um, this is not going to be production. Um, maybe the electric motor um, and the inverter, inverter converters. I'm thinking that this will probably be an inverter converter because of the number of cables that are coming out. That means that you'll be able to charge your house uh, from this battery pack. This battery pack looks uh, quite small. I don't believe that this is going to give them, like if you look at the uh, car and driver uh, article, and we'll post that, uh, you'll see that um, uh, they have some information that the Chrysler folks here wouldn't give me. Um, and they're saying that this is gonna have 500 miles of range. Um, you're not gonna get 500 miles of range out of this. Uh, this is just a mock-up small, uh, small battery. The thing that may happen though is, if those batteries are not just an LG uh, uh, pouch style or something like that, if those are actually maybe solid powers, uh, uh, solid state battery, then maybe you could get, no, you can't get 500 miles out of this. It's just not gonna happen. 
And so you look at the front motor and the rear motor, and you can see that they look slightly different. You can see the motor controller over there um, is on the top. The motor controller over there is on the side. So they don't use the same sorts of um, um, efficiency that you get out of, out of something like a Tesla where both the electric motors are exactly identically the same. So let's go and move up further. And now what you can see is um, you can have a look at the suspension system. This is something that, uh, this is something that really gives uh, Chrysler an edge. This is an air suspension system. And you're looking at all of the control rods here are all perfectly straight. That's something that you really want to try and do to get the, mess, the best efficiency you can out of, um, whoops, to get the best efficiency you can out of, um, out of, the, out of, the, um, out of the steering and handling uh, characteristics. So this is all very well and good, but the one thing that I think would be kind of interesting is, let's have a look at uh, this little deal right here. Uh, this is a, an, induction, um, an induction charging system. Now, what's nice about this is there are no plugs uh, or cabling. This, uh, this is kind of like your uh, uh, Roomba or something like that. And you can see that when it's done charging, it's going to trail back off and go into the, um, into the um, basically the home port. So this could eliminate some of the problems that we'd had in the past with um, people charging and not liking the cables or actually the manipulation of cables are just absolutely stunning. Uh, uh, my wife, Susan, absolutely hates all the conventional cables. The only one she likes is, is Tesla's uh, because the other ones are all bulky and horrible. This might be a way of making things happen in a better route. Now this one here moves in and out, but in the future you might just pull into a slot and, um, and it takes over lickety split because you're driving right over the top of the induction pad. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, thanks uh, to uh, the folks at um, Stellantis and the Ram Group for um, helping us out a little bit, giving us some, some time with this truck and uh, we'll be on our way. Thank you so much, bye.